Hi everyone, in our first lesson, we're going to make a simple calculator applet via the application Pneumatic. Pneumatic is actually a visual programming application that helps you to create diverse IoT systems by simply dragging and dropping blocks that represent code comments. Uh, I'm sure it will be more comprehensive once you get to know the application better, so we're going to jump in and uh, create our first applet. Okay, we're going to start off by uh, running our application. Uh, first, we need to create a new project or applet. We're going to do it by clicking on this new button on the uh, top right corner of the screen. Uh, choose phone and tablet design and select blank sheet. Pneumatic applets consist of two main parts. The first part is the back panel. As you can see, back panel is where you are going to drag and drop uh, the blocks you need um, from here and define the functionality of your applet. And the second part is the front panel. Uh, front panel is simply where uh, your and your user is going to be able to see once you're done with your applet. To build a calculator, uh, we need to have two inputs, a math operation and a result or output. In our menu, uh, we choose UI, text, and uh, we need to input so two text inputs. Home math basic operations and i'm going to choose add where you can choose whatever you want um, and also uh, we want to see the results so uh, we need a text view uh, so i want my math operation to be triggered by pressing a button so here in ui buttons I choose a flat button. Uh, as you can see, the uh, input and outputs of the blocks have different colors. The colors uh, represent the data types of uh, our inputs and outputs. Uh, you can see here on the uh, top side of the screen that my input's uh, data type is string. Uh, the input's uh, data type is number so if I try to connect these two together it just doesn't happen so I need a uh, converter to convert my string to number here I copy that I need two okay so I want to trigger my block by a button uh, and also here also uh, I need a converter from number to a string and the triggers are connected together so um, it is the back panel of my uh, calculator now I go to the front panel and see what we got here so I have two inputs, a button and an output. So, um, there are two ways I can change the settings of these blocks. Um, the first one is by simply clicking on them in uh, our front panel. And here is the settings attribute. I want to change the name uh, the font size you can see the change um, the font the alignment and text color so let's just okay or change the place um, the second way is to just go to your back panel, click on the 
uh, block and uh, choose the settings and here is also where you can change uh, the settings okay uh, now I want to test my calculator so uh, I run the applet by simply uh, clicking on this uh, button run button uh, I put my two numbers 54 and 22 uh, and uh, press the button uh, 76 is my result so my calculator is working uh, so I hope you uh, enjoyed our tutorial uh, if you did please stick with us and subscribe um, there are more videos for you to look forward to definitely in the future uh, bye guys